Yo, it's Bruno. Uh, quick PSA. I'm an idiot. I totally call this thing Necrozma Duskmane the entire episode. It is Necrozma Dawn Wings. I know that. I didn't care for Sun and Ultra Sun Ultra Moon, so they kind of erased them out of my memory. But anyway, I will probably re-edit this episode to have some quick little timers in there to correct my mistakes and laugh it at the end. So go ahead and bash me in the comments. I probably deserve it. Here's the episode of Necrozma Dawn Wings. He's big and blue, and now he has a fountain. He looks kind of sick, not gonna lie. That's pretty sick. Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Burner. We are back once again. This time, we have Necrozma Duskmane. Such a cool Pokemon. I kind of forget about it, honestly. I forget about the Duskman and the Dawn Wings. But this team comes at us from the homie Johnny Chow. Um, fantastic player uh, from Taiwan. I believe they were the runner-up. Uh, they were, yeah, they were their finalists at the 2023 uh, Taipei Regional. And Johnny makes just the coolest Heart Trick Room teams. I've worked with him in the past about some stuff, and he gave me some cool Gallade tech with upper hand that I used in Charlotte. Like, I love this guy. He always comes up with some really cool hard trick room stuff. He's a hard trick room believer like myself. So shout out to Johnny. I'll link uh, his Twitter down in the description. Real quick before we get into it, do the YouTube stuff. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you want to submit teams, the easiest way to do so is in my Discord. I'll put that link down in the description as well. But you have you have Necrozma here. Prism Armor is a signature ability, which reduces the, attack, uh, the effectiveness of... Er, Reduces the damage of super effective attacks. That's how you say it. So it's only four times weak to ghost and to dark. So we got to avoid those as best as we can. We also have an Ndidi for that stuff. So that doesn't feel too bad either. Um, but we, we, we just have good stuff, man. We have Lily Cole. We have a scope lens Gallade with sharpness. Oh, God, that's got to hurt. So I am excited to see how that how that shapes out. Um, then we also have Power Herb move, Meteor Beam. So if we can get off a of Meteor Beam, we can start going Burr with the Necrozma. Ursa Luna doing Ursa Luna things. Swords Dance in case they want to start Intimidate, swapping us with the Incineroar, because Incineroar doesn't really like this team too much. But we have a whole bunch of different options. I'm stoked to see what happens. Let's go ahead and just get into it. We got a match against Kai. Also, I'd like to remind people that we are playing on the, um, whatever this thing is, the, uh, casual ladder because we don't have the real ladder just yet but Kai has a really scary team um am I terra fire on you I think I am right terra grass okay not great not great not horrible not great mm. but what's their trick room answers I feel like I want to lead these two Your water. Okay. I'm worried a little bit about the Amoongus, but I'm not super worried about the Amoongus. I think I can lead them. I think I can lead you and you and be just fine. Let's lock that in. A Glamora. Glamora Fluttermane lead kind of scares me. Glamour Fluttermane lead kind of scares me. But let's see what uh, Doggy Mask has to do. Amoongus Fluttermane. They have him prison. I wish I was Terra Grass right now. They have him prison. They 100% have him prison. Show me speed. Special attack. I'm gonna click Trick Room. I'm gonna tear a grass. I'm gonna Psycho Cut over here. This avoids Rage Powder. If they have in prison, I take out the Flutter Main and get off my Trick Room. And then they really can't do much to my Gallade. 
Oh, they have protect. Okay, that's totally fine. Depends on who you put to sleep here. But I get I get my trick room off. I don't get my trick room off. You spored my Ndidi. But now I got a first turn sleep. I can click follow me. Uh, I'm going to psycho cut into the Amoongus. Yeah. Let's go, Ndidi. First turn wake. Should have clicked trick room. I, I lived that very handily. Thank you. Goodbye, you. Cool. Crit. It's that's sharpness on psychic train. That should that doesn't matter, but the scope lens crit is nice. I love Gallade. I love when Gallade do Gallade things. Here comes Kai the Zapdos. I'm gonna click follow me. I'm gonna click trick room. Oh, I don't have trick room over here. Oh no 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 no. All right, I'm gonna click trick room. I'm going to click Psycho Cut on the Zapdos. I think they thought that would kill. I might have played this horribly. What's Blue Doom? Oh, you're dead. There's a Psycho Cut for you. Okay, that's nice. We like that. I gotta send. I gotta send out the Dusk main last. I'm not worried about the Zapdos as much. I gotta double tap the Flutter main. I gotta double tap the flutter. I'm probably about to take. I gotta get rid of the flutter main so I can get the necrosman safely. I played. I've played this kind of badly. I assumed that they'd have in prison. The, the turn one protect kind of screwed me over. I assume anytime somebody leads a flutter main into me, they just they have protect. He hasn't shown Shadow Ball, though, so I think that's good. He has Shadow Ball, so that's bad. All right, Torkoal. I need you to kill this Fluttermane right now with this Weather Ball, please. Thank you. You're so good, Torkoal. All right. We get in the Necroz. Oh my god, it's gigantic. It's blocking literally half the screen. He's so big. Has he Terrid? He has not Terrid. That hurts a lot. But you just drop now. Eat a meteor beam. He didn't Terra. He's probably Terra Steel, and I was gonna put him in a weird predicament with expanding force slash meteor beam slash uh, weather ball. All right, GG's. And that's Necrozma Dustwing. I never noticed that he has like the Necrozma thing coming out of his back until just now. He's so weird. GG's, Kai. Let's get another. Oh, boy. This is a scary team. They have potentially a second dark type. So this is a scary team, but what's great about it is that they don't have a Lily Cole answer.
So I can just lead Lily Cole. I think I bring Duskmane in the back. And you. I think that's fine. Because they don't have, I mean, they could be booster jugs, but like, what do you really do here? I think that they got to bring the Frig because they're scared. But like, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like a Perigraph Lando lead makes sense, but like, I don't know what that Urshifu is. I'm assuming it's, it's water. Cause I don't think you double down on the dark. If it's dark, it's really scary for me. Um, and then also the Golden Go is kind of, kind of scary, but they don't have any wide guard users. So I think it's like a, after you eruption should just be just perfect here. I don't see anything wrong with that. They'd have to like tear a water or something to survive it, I think. Just take your time. Next dude took it all the way down to the clock. Respect. All right. They, they got a really weird team. They got a really weird team. I just don't know what Palkia does there for them. Oh my god, he's so big. He's absolutely massive. Absolutely freaking massive. Do I need to tear? Hold on. Who else do I have in the back? I think I'm fine just Terra Fire erupting and see what that does. Let's hit a little after you eruption and see how this goes. Classic play. Never gets old. Always love doing it. They're, I'm assuming that they probably protect or, or they probably tailwind. I don't know if they live this though. Choice specs in the sun from a Torkoal. Yeah, they do protect. I'm assuming here comes the Tailwind. But I don't know if this this might knock out. I mean, Jugs is kind of... He's kind of bulky, but like... This is a Specs Eruption in the Sun from a Torkoal. I wouldn't be shocked if it knocked out. Correct. That's what I'm saying. I would not be surprised. Here comes the rank master, which is just a water Urshifu. Bad news for you, buddy. Nah, I no. What am I doing? After you? No, 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 no. Not him. No, 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 no. After you here. Eruption. He doesn't live it. That's fine. You don't live this. You can try. Come on. Yeah, goodbye. This is... When this thing is just lethal, it's just lethal. It's just so lethal. Torkoal, you can't stop a Torkoal. Like I said, they had no answer for this. I'm just going to keep clicking it. I'm going to make them have to stop this. That's how they stop it, I guess. GG's. Let's go to the next one. All right. We got Seamus O. Man, they, <laughs> they have jump bluff. They have a jump bluff. That's adorable. Kind of scary. Not going to lie. Um, I have Y guard over here, right? I'm gonna. Uh, I think I need to do this. 
sleep. They got Atlanta sleep powder for jump bluff, I think, to beat me. I think that's the trick. Cause they got Atlanta uh, sleep powder from jump bluff to beat me. I'm gonna do this. One second. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put them first so I can see the screen. And then. I don't hate Lily in the back. Uh, but I'm gonna do this. We're gonna do this and see how this goes. We're gonna bring Bear and Didi in the back. No clue. No clue if this is gonna work. This is kinda scary. I gotta learn I gotta learn this a little bit. I don't hate this idea of Duskmane right now. All right, what you got, Seamus? Oh, I feel like Lily Dawn is just gonna be the lead. Gouging Pow, that's a lead. I'm gonna click Trick Room. Uh, I'm gonna click Sacred Sword over here into the Chimp Pow. Just super straightforward, nothing crazy. He crash, that'll do a little chunk. It does a little chunk. I still crash, okay. We are good. Goodbye to you. And we hit the trick room. Beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. So I'm going to Meteor Beam over here, and I'm just going to hard swap an NDD. Because uh, I think they just want to sucker punch me. I feel like this is very telegraphed, just an easy sucker punch. But like a Meteor Beam from this thing should just hurt. Like a lot, a lot, a lot. I thought about doing it into the Chen Pal, but I'm like, mm. I don't know. That works for me. Oh, and you didn't bulwark. Oh, this has to KO, right? This has to KO. Hit it, Dusk Wings. Love Dawn Wings. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, big evil bat thing. That's so nasty. That's so freaking nasty. Oh, no. A Groudon. What are you going to do? You have no way of changing terrain, correct? Correct. You have no way of changing terrain. Okay, cool. So, I'm just going to... Hmm, yeah, I'm just going to hit an E-Force and a Dazzling Gleam. That's perfectly fine by me. Plus one expanding force from a from a from a necrozma. What does this do to grout on? It has to take it out, right? Almost. So close. D gleam doesn't, but that's fine. I'm assuming I'm about to take a P blades to the face. Yep, of course I am. Goodbye, Donwing. You did great though. You did a great job, bud. I'm going to go to Luna now. Something the Recluse. Oh, Luna the Recluse. Oh, that's cool. Shiny. Little, he's so small. And a Flutter Man. Excuse me. Okay. We're just going to Gleam Headlong Rush the Flutter. He's, I'm assuming this is a Terror on the Flutter. Don't be Terror Flying. Okay. Perfect, 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 perfect. You dropped to a Headlong Rush. I don't know why you did that, but thank you for doing that. First off. They never learn, man. They really do. They really don't. Bonk.
Yeah, that was just easy. That's just super free. Uh, Trick Room should have one more turn. Right, last turn Trick Room? Yeah, last turn Trick Room. Uh, I'm just gonna facade. And I'll click follow me just in case. No reason not to. Sure. Just in case, just go follow me. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Bonk. That's so dumb. Thank you, Seamus. DGs. I'm scared of that. Uh, whatever that thing was. Whatever. Next one. All right. I don't know how to say their name, but they have some. Of, man, they got double double dark and a Lunala. Oh my gosh. Okay. This their team is very annoying. I don't like it. We're gonna load up with these guys. Hold on. This kind of slaps, I think. Yeah, this kind of slaps. I'll bring Torkoal in the back. This kind of, this kind of hits, because I can just lead. Dusk wings, dawn wings, lunar wings. Evil Lunala. I can lead Evil Lunala. What's the speed on this thing? 77 speed on Evil Lunala. Regular Lun Lunala is 97. So they lead instant Lunala. Okay, that is cool. Good news is I should outspeed their Lunala. I'm going to Meteor Beam the Incineroar so hard right now. And just swap to my DD. I think this is free. There's no way their Lunala outspeeds my Lunala. I'm assuming that they want a Trick Room, my Trick Room. But I just want to nuke that Incineroar. Because the Incineroar, one less Dark type is fantastic for me. We got, we got a big bat showdown here. And it's kind of cool. It's kind of really cool. Lun their Lunala versus my evil Lunala. I don't want to get him nuked. So let's get Ndidi, the chosen one. Of course she is. She is fantastic Pokemon. I'm assuming you fake out into... Show me that you faked out into my guy. Into my Gallade. What are you doing? That's... That is one way to get around what was about to happen. Ha. <laughs> Why Terra? That's all kinds of weird, right? Like, we can just go ahead and say that that's kind of weird. Here comes... Here comes what I presume their Lunala is faster too, to be the Ursa Luna. Yeah, that's fine because that thing's about to take a meteor beam to the face. Yep. Oh, that did zero damage. They did an actual, like, zero amount of damage. Alright, I'm just gonna click Expanding Force, and I'm gonna click Follow Me. This might be a throw. I'm hoping that they set Trick Room. Okay. It's perfectly fine. If this doesn't... Alright, well, that's not good for me. I guess the good news is they can't facade me, so I guess it's okay. My Ndidi's gonna die so fast right here. Maybe. this Unless this KOs. That's so close. 
Goodbye, Indeedy. Yeah. I want to click E-Force in Ursa Luna. That's the only thing preventing me from... Let's do that in Psycho Cut into the Rillaboom. Yeah. That Lunal is the only thing preventing me from being happy. I hit Psycho Cut into that spot, so nothing can resist that. Please bring back in the Ursa Luna so I can be happy. I don't think you do. That's for, that's perfectly fine. I think that's perfectly fine. A Terra Water Set Trick Room. And. I'm going to cycle cut into the Instant Roar. I feel a big Moon Guys beam coming onto my Necrozma. And I don't want to take it, frankly. He's big and blue, and now he has a fountain. He looks kind of sick, not going to lie. That's pretty sick. I tank. I think I tank this though. I have good spadef. I don't tank that though. Are you gonna knock off into me? You can. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Cool. I'm neutral now. That's fine. I got it. I just win now. <laughs> I just straight up win now. This dude's doing some weird stuff. That's why I don't know. I think he thinks that he has me, but now I finally set up the trick room. He gets his shadow shield back, but now I'm just going to lock in and just click eruptions. I'm going to Moongeist over here. I'm going to click Eruption. No thoughts. If I win it, I win it. I think that's the correct thing to do. Oh, he doesn't click Y Guard or Protect. Goodbye, Rillaboom. And goodbye, Lunala. Cool, I just win now. That was very strange. And now I'm back up to full. He has to bring in the Ensign. He has to fake out the Torkoal. But I'm not worried about that because I just I just hit the Ursa Luna. Uh, oh, I kind of am worried about that a little bit, right? We're gonna we're gonna click it. He fakes the. Uh. If he KO, uh, he can't KO the Ursul. He has to kill the Torkoal. He has to fake out KO the Torkoal. I think I still win this. This facade needs to KO this. I, it might not. Oh, it does. Okay, that's fine. I still win because I'm still in Trick Room and I click Eruption. So I think, yeah, I was going to say, I think I just had him pinned. I should I should have just healed back the red in look. Um, I should have just healed back from the 
fake out. Right? And there's two turns to trick him. He wins if he gets a double protect on the Ursa Luna. That's how he has to play it. He wins if he gets a double protect on the Ursa Luna. There's one. Oh, come on. I think I played this all right. If he gets it, he wins. I don't know what he's thinking. Of. Okay, we win. Woo! So close. Actually so close. <sighs> GG's. That was way too freaking close for comfort. Let's uh recap. Goodbye, shiny Charizard. There it is, folks. Johnny Chow has a, just a sick, sick mind for Trick Room, and I love it. And this this is this is a cool one. Necrozma Dusk Main put in some put in some work there. We got to use every part of the team too. Um, we love to see it. We love to see it. Once again, shout out to Johnny. I'll put a link to his Twitter, all that stuff down in the description. Go give him a follow. Always cooking up some hot trick room stuff if you love that. I love that. This team's cool. Um, also do the YouTube stuff for me. Like, comment, subscribe. You guys know what's up. If you want to submit teams, the easiest way to do so is down in my Discord. Link will be down, or in my Discord, link will be down in the description below. But yeah, shout out to Johnny. I don't have a paste for this, unfortunately. Um, if he gives me one, I will put it down there as well. But in the meantime, enjoy this rental. Give it a shot. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Appreciate you. Peace.